is up you guys welcome back to another one if you went into the channel i am gold pony today we are in the new 2020 mercedes-benz a220 courtesy of mercedes-benz of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland of course and so for those of you who don't already know the a series is mercedes-benz new entry-level vehicle for 2019 is actually when it came out and to be quite honest i wanted to check it out because it is an insanely good looking vehicle and i've been seeing a ton of commercials for it lately actually as well which really got me thinking about it but Nonetheless, this will be my first time reviewing it, and I will be going over everything about this one, testing out acceleration, braking, all that fun stuff. So what do you say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there will be two different configurations for the A220. There is a front-wheel drive setup starting at $32,800. Then you have the four-matic all-wheel drive starting at $34,800. Regardless of which configuration you go with, though, the power plan on this one is going to be the same. Powering this little beast is a two-liter turbo charged inline four cylinder putting out 188 horsepower at 5500 rpm 221 pound feet of torque available from the power band of 1600 to 4000 rpm again sent to front wheels or all wheels through a seven speed dual clutch with paddle shifters and aluminum paddle shifters if you go with the amg line and we do have that today by the way so i will get more into that a little bit later in the video but nonetheless zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 7.1 seconds according to Mercedes-Benz. And the reason I put it that way is because when tested with other publications out there right now, you can see this one doing 60 in only 6.1 seconds with the four Matic all-wheel drive at least. So that is a very substantial difference than what Mercedes-Benz calls it at. So that is pretty cool. Nonetheless, top speed is gonna come in at 130 miles per hour in the US. You get 146 if you're in Europe. Red line is 6,500 RPM and MPG numbers come in at 24 in the city, 34 on the highway, for the all-wheel drive and that gets bumped up to 35 miles per hour on the highway if you go with the front wheel drive but either way it does take premium unleaded fuel it comes with the automatic start stop system meaning when you stop at a red light or a stop sign it's going to shut off on you helping you save a little bit of mpgs there and by the way if you didn't like that you of course can turn that off if that starts to annoy you a little bit so all of that is pretty darn cool but before we get to any kind of paddle shifter test or acceleration test anything like that did want to mention the drive modes on the a220 mercedes-benz calls that dynamic select and so they are going to include eco comfort sport and individual and they will adjust things like throttle response shift points steering sensitivity and the eco start and stop system as well and that individual mode in case you were curious that actually allows you to set the transmission to purely manual shifting mode so you can completely shift through the gears using the paddle shifters if you wanted to under that individual mode if you wanted to set it up that way at least so that is pretty darn cool as well but nonetheless now that we have mentioned all of that what do you say let's go ahead and put it in sport mode did immediately downshift for me so it is going to hold the rpms at a much higher level there so that's a good thing and let me actually find a place to turn around and let's test out the paddle shifters here all right we are in manual shift mode in first gear and here we go yeah definitely react quick certainly no issues with any paddle shifter delay or anything like that i will say some mercedes benz kind of lunge you forward when you hit the paddle shifters i remember that from reviewing them in the past these don't but they do react insanely quick and that is to be expected with any dual clutch transmission they're really the way to go when it comes to transmissions in my opinion at least for driving enjoyment so excellent paddle shifters and i love that they're aluminum with the amg line as well so that is pretty darn cool but now what do you guys say let me find a straightaway here and actually let's have it be right here and let's do a quick little acceleration test here in the mercedes-benz a220 here we go oh wow that's more than i expected Okay, so it's not the fastest thing in the world. Okay, so it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's certainly, it kind of launches your head into the back headrest a little bit if you're not paying attention, I guess. So it's definitely a decently quick car. It does feel closer to that zero to 60 in 6.1 seconds, to be quite honest. Yeah, that was actually a decent acceleration. Not gonna be as quick as the, uh, the AMG version of the A-Class, but still, you're absolutely not gonna have any issues in merging onto the highway with that one, but as always to go along with that acceleration braking is equally important and so up front you will find 12.6 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.6 inch rear discs and as far as that 60 to 0 braking distance goes i always like to mention that number it actually comes in at 108 feet which is really impressive for this class because 
For instance, the Audi A3, the main competitor for the A-Class, comes in at 120 feet. That is a very substantial difference and something you definitely want to pay attention to, especially if you're going to be driving in some rush hour traffic and you need to come to a quick stop. The A-Class is definitely on point with that braking distance. As far as the braking feel goes, it's been perfectly fine for me today. Certainly no brake pedal delay or anything like that to worry about. And I did want to also mention if you go with that AMG line package, that is going to add perforated front brakes, a little better stopping power with that one as well. Touching on suspension and handling, you will get an independent multi-link suspension up front with the stabilizer bar. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension again with the stabilizer bar. Couple different options here with the suspension actually for the A-Class though. There is a lowered comfort suspension that comes with that AMG line package. And actually, I don't think I've mentioned it yet. That package goes for $2,600. It does add quite a bit of stuff with it though, but the lowered comfort suspension comes with that. Also an adaptive damping suspension is optional for $850. That's definitely one I always like to recommend just because it really gives you the best of both worlds and not only tightens up the suspension during heavy cornering, but it will also absorb a lot of the road's imperfections, again, giving you the best of both worlds. So that's definitely a plus on that one as well. As far as the steering feel goes, it's actually pretty nice. There is a heavier weight to it when you have it in that sport mode, which I love. If that wasn't your thing, just take it out of the sport mode if you just want to cruise around. But it is a nice steering feel, not the heaviest I've ever felt, not as heavy as my Mustang GT, but still a very nice steering feel. And I should say part of that is actually due to the AMG line package adding a direct steer system, a little quicker response when it comes to the steering. So once again, that package comes through for us there. As far as ride quality, it's been perfectly fine. Certainly no issues there. It is absorbing a lot of Maryland's road imperfections quite nicely. So really Maryland's got decent roads anyways compared to Pennsylvania where I live, but it is a Mercedes Benz. So it is pretty much to be expected when it comes to that ride quality. Cabin noise, I will say it's pretty average for the class. There's a slight bit of wind noise at highway speeds right here, but again, it's not bad. It's just pretty much on par for the course as far as that goes. Touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. Really, you're not going to have any issues with visibility when it comes to any kind of sedan for the most part. So certainly no issues there. Rain sensing windshield wipers actually come standard on the A220. So essentially what that is, is when the A-Class detects any kind of mist or rainfall, those windshield wipers will automatically start working for you one less thing you have to worry about kind of like automatic headlights so therefore you can focus more of your attention on actually enjoying the drive so that's a big old plus there head up display is optional if you wanted that it goes for eleven hundred dollars but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this brand new 2020 mercedes-benz a220 all right and so here she is you guys the 2020 mercedes-benz a220 finished in a digital white metallic exterior for anybody who was curious but now let's go ahead and start up front on this one starting with that grill up front you will actually find a black diamond block front grill that comes standard on the a220 however you are actually currently looking at the chrome diamond block front grill thanks to the amg package that is what that actually is and there's an illuminated star front and center for an additional 450 dollars if you wanted to go that route let's take a look at the sides led headlights coming standard with led daytime running lights as well and of course with those headlights comes the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out at night they will turn on automatically for you there also wanted to touch on the amg packages there are actually two of them the amg line package that we have today that adds twenty six hundred dollars and the amg line with night package that goes for three thousand dollars and that is essentially going to replace all the chrome accents with black accents that's how you know you don't have that one on this particular card today but also with those amg packages though you guys will see it in the bottom two corners there there's going to be re-sculpted front air dams so that helps direct air around the wheel and tire combination giving a little better aerodynamics there also flared side sills you guys can see that with that as well and down below there's going to be either chrome or black added for that front splitter again it depends on which amg line package that i actually end up going with there but did want to mention one more thing up front exterior lighting package goes for nine hundred dollars that actually gives you active led headlights meaning when you're going around the bend at night those headlights will swivel based on your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or possum or a squirrel or whatever make your way to the side of the a220 chrome window surrounds comes standard taking a look at their side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable heated side mirrors with integrated turd signals all of that coming standard as expected on a mercedes-benz i suppose you could say there's also a premium package though that goes for twenty two hundred dollars if you wanted power folding side mirrors that is one of the features included in that package 
Taking a look down to the wheel setup, 17 inch 10 spoke alloy wheels come standard. That's not what you're looking at right now because we have the AMG package that is going to come in at 18 inch double five spoke AMG wheels with that classic look that AMG is known for on Mercedes Benz. It definitely looks good down there. Did want to also mention there are 19 inch wheels available pretty much for any A class that you were to go with, but make your way to the back on this one. First, I want to mention that rear spoiler, that small body colored spoiler you're looking at right there. That is an option for $300 if you wanted to go that route. LED taillights actually come standard on the A220. That's a big old plus back there too. And just below it all, twin trapezoidal exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. now since we are around back when it comes to opening that trunk there is a few different ways to go about doing that there is a button on the key fob that is one way there's also a button on the driver's side door that is yet another way and there of course is a button on the trunk itself that is the third way to go about opening that rear trunk but once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 8.6 cubic feet if that was not enough space for you, there actually is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it. Make your way to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 33.9 inches. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Did want to also mention, though, for these rear passengers, they will find a rear center armrest with cup holders. That's pretty standard. Rear ventilation also comes standard on the A-Class. It is seating for three, so you can actually fit a third person in the middle there if you wanted to. And if you open up that bottom area in the rear seats below the rear air vents there, you'll find two phone charging ports as well as a little bit of storage, I guess you could say as well. But now making your way up to the front seats, 12-way power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar coming standard. Memory settings actually come standard as well. And for anybody curious, a lot of times those buttons on other manufacturers are located on the side of the seat. They're actually all located on the door. And that is kind of a Mercedes-Benz thing, but that's where you're going to be able to adjust the seat in case anybody was curious there but heated front seats are an option for an additional $580 heated and ventilated front seats go for $1,030 massaging front seats or multi contoured seats they're called they are available for $590 and then will come standard in a Mercedes-Benz Tex upholstery which is kind of a leatherette finish there and there's some optional seating trims like Dynamica finishes available for the AMG line if you wanted to go that route and there is a full leather package available as well so plenty of options there as well and I will say the seats are definitely quite comfortable so I've had no issues in my test drive today there. They take a look at the steering wheel one of my favorite parts about the A-Class actually it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped that's all pretty standard flat bottom is going to come with the AMG line if you wanted to go that route it will come heated for an additional $250 but I love the 10 and 2 grips and I love that it is perforated on the left and right side of the steering wheel as well so it is bolstered a bit thicker than a lot of other manufacturers do kind of similar to a BMW layout but definitely love the grips on the mercedes-benz a class that we have here today but let's now go ahead and make our way to the startup and let me first start by showing you guys the key here all of your buttons are going to be located on one side of the key you have lock unlock and again that button to pop the rear hatch and the mercedes-benz logo is front and center but it is actually a smart key so essentially you have intelligent access with a push button start so simply just leave the key in your pocket walk up to the a class and then that push button start is actually located just kind of to the left of the climb and control settings there so and that's actually where you're going to be able to turn on and off that start and stop system just below that as well but remote start is available with the mercedes me mobile app if you were curious about the remote start available on this one but let's now go ahead and make our way to the gauges i'm just going to put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there and so gauges are going to differ a little bit depending on which setup that you go with the standard setup is a seven inch digital gauge cluster and that is currently what you are looking at right now however there is a ten and a quarter inch digital gauge cluster available with the premium package that adds two thousand two hundred dollars and that is essentially where it takes up those full screens really either way it's a nice looking setup i would probably prefer that 10 and a quarter inch screen though that looks absolutely amazing but nonetheless this is still a very cool looking display to control what is on that display screen there are actually steering wheel mounted controls on the left side you can just toggle through that and again another unique feature about the a class is i told you guys to adjust what is on there there's steering wheel mounted controls on the left 
left side. That black little square button, if you actually just swipe your thumb down on that, that's how you're actually gonna be able to display different things up on that screen. So that is the craziest thing. Usually you have like a toggle switch, you would think, to go up and down and left and right and all that stuff. But this one, it's kind of like a small little black touch pad controller on your steering wheel. It is pretty darn cool. I actually love that thing. That is pretty cool. But now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality, really where Mercedes-Benz always shines. Let me start with panorama roof coming standard on the A220. That's wonderful. LED ambient lighting, my very favorite feature with any Mercedes-Benz because they do it better than any other manufacturer out there. By the way, that's a $310 option, but it comes with illuminated vents, which you almost never see. There's three vents front and center. They are all illuminated. Whichever color you wanna make it, and by the way, 64 different color options are available with that LED ambient lighting package there. And of course, it goes up on the dash. It's included on the doors. It's also included in the footwells of both the driver and passenger. It's in the back. It's absolutely everywhere and it looks absolutely amazing i wish i could show you guys a little bit better it is bright and sunny day here in maryland so i can't really show you too much but it is an absolute amazing display especially at night but continuing on dual zoom climate control comes standard brushed aluminum pedals with the amg line package that's what you're looking at right now amg floor mats also comes standard wireless phone charger adds 200 dollars if you wanted that universal garage door opener adds 280 dollars of course you had an overhead sunglass holder up top there the interior lighting, it almost looks like crystals up on the top. It's a very cool looking display and it's a fade in and fade out. So it very slowly fades in and it very slowly dims out when you hit that button. It's pretty darn cool. I like it. Of course, you have another phone charger in front of the cup holders there. You also have a 12 volt power outlet. Then there's also a button behind everything to open that center armrest where you can find two more phone charging ports and actually a little device that you can plug into those phone charging ports and has a USB end on the other side in case you wanted to charge via USB cable in case anybody was wondering about that that's there for you too but overall like I said Mercedes-Benz really has one of the best interior qualities out there so everything is finished either in leather or a very soft touch with contrast stitching it looks absolutely wonderful in here but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display seven inch color touchscreen display is what you guys are looking at right now ten and a quarter inch color touchscreen display coming with that premium package I was just mentioning that kind of matches the gauges with the infotainment screen either setup that you go with really there are a couple different ways to control it. Of course, you do have a touch screen. You can control it that way, but there is also a touchpad controller directly behind the cup holders. That is yet another way you can control what is up on that screen. Either way though, you get Bluetooth and audio streaming and either way you get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, you hook it up to the A220, you have free navigation up on that tech display, as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs and a couple other apps as well factory navigation system is available with the multimedia package that goes for $1,150. Again, you don't need it though with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but it is there if you wanted it. You can also change your ambient lighting up on that screen. You can also actually adjust your ambient lighting through voice activation as well, believe it or not. That is pretty crazy. You can check out your climate control up there. And there's of course your radio settings you can control up there as well. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system on the A220, you will find eight speakers that come standard on this one. However, there is an optional 12 speaker Burmester sound system that goes for eight $850. That's going to give you 590 watts, but that is not the one we have today. We actually do have the standard eight speaker sound system here. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Actually more bass than I expected, you guys. I really, really wasn't expecting all that much with standard sound systems, you usually don't, but it's not a six speaker sound system, which you usually find on standard sound systems. It does have eight, so really more bass than I expected, although that song didn't have a whole lot of it in it, but I can tell, not that bad of a sound system. If you're into music, definitely go with the Bremester, but it's not bad. Then last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that tech display at least, is when you do put the A220 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera for any setup across the board that you go with. There is a surround view monitor that comes with the parking assistance package that goes for $1,090 if you wanted to go that route, and that actually is going to lead us into safety. And so actually, let me start with that parking assistance package that does add the surround view monitor. It also does add an active parking assist system. This is an amazing system by Mercedes-Benz. It essentially allows you to pick the parking spot, whether it be parallel parking or just pulling into a regular parking spot at the grocery store or something like that. It actually finds
finds the open parking spots, you select it, and then it allows you to select whether you want to pull in or back in. It's a crazy system that will scare the living crap out of you the first time you use it, but it works beautifully. I've tested that out, it's amazing. So I definitely would recommend that if you want to scare your friends at least. And of course, front side, side curtain airbags come standard. Also driver and passenger knee airbags up front. In the back, you're going to have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Tire pressure monitoring system also comes standard. Blind spot assist comes with the AMG line packages and also the driver assistance package. And by the way, that driver assistance package goes for $2,250. That adds adaptive cruise control, evasive steering assist, rear cross traffic alert with automatic braking, autonomous emergency braking, speed limit assist, lane keep assist, a blind spot monitor, lane change assist, pre-safe plug with pre-safe sound and route based speed adaptation. And so in the end, when it comes to my overall thoughts of the A220, I'm actually a big fan of the A-Class. It's a great value, really until you get to the safety, I would say. Many of these safety features should be standard in my opinion. Some of them I could see offering as an added option, but most of them should be standard. A lot of them are standard on other manufacturers, but overall still, when you take that out of the equation, the A-Class is an incredible value best ambient lighting of any other manufacturer. Like I was saying, there is a great starting price point of the A-Class. I love that as well, especially for it being a Mercedes-Benz. Excellent interior quality, excellent tech with options. The price can go up a bit further, but definitely one I would actually consider. Part of the reason why I wanted to go ahead and review this one today. So anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. If you like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.